Good day, students. So welcome to part eight uh, on the practice on the principle of mathematical induction. Uh, so let's go ahead and write down the question we're going to be considering this in this clip. Uh, so we're going to prove prove um, that prove that uh, n to the third plus two n is uh, divisible by uh, three for all positive uh, integer values of n. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and, um, and do this proof. But before we start, let's write our plan um, of execution here. So when we are doing proof by induction, it can be broken down into three parts. The first part is known as the base case. So basically in that case, we want to show that um, S sub 1 is true, where S sub k is a statement. And then secondly, we have something called the inductive hypothesis. Well, we'll pick an arbitrary k and assume that, that's, that um, the statement is true for that uh, va value. Okay, so for inductive hypothesis, we just assume that S sub k equal is, uh, is true. So S sub k is true. So um, we just pick any random integer and assume that it's true for that integer. And we're going to call k that integer. And then the next part is inductive step. So if we pick any arbitrary integer k, if we can show using inductive step that the next step is also true based on this assumption, then that will complete our proof, OK? So in the inductive step, we're going to show that um, if S of k is true, show that S of k is true implies that S of k plus 1 is also true, then we are done. All right? Okay. So first thing I want to do is let's, I want to um, translate this problem into a mathematical statement. Um, and then we're going to do our three-part uh, proof, okay? All right. So... Um, if a number is divisible by three, that means the number can be written as a multiple of three, all right? So think about a number that's divisible by three. Let's say three, for example. Three is divisible by three because three can be written as an integer multiple of three, three times one. Think of another number, let's say six, for example. Is it divisible by three because I can express this as a multiple of three, three times two. And then let's say 27 is also I'm divisible by 3 because I can write this as 3 times um, 9. So any number that I can be written as 3 times an integer is divisible by 3. Okay, so if n to the third plus 2 n is divisible by 3, my statement, mathematical form S of n, is going to be n to the third plus 2n is equal to 3, uh, let's use um, m, for some m in the set of natural numbers, okay? For some set, for some m in the set of natural numbers, or all positive integer values. So positive integer values are are um, your natural numbers, okay? <clears throat> Remember that we, we work with only uh, positive integer values because that's the constraint in n. All right. So this is the statement that we're supposed to prove. All right. So now let's start with the base case base case. Uh, this is part one. All right, so for the base case, all we just need to do is we want to show uh, that S sub 1 is true. Okay, let me put that in green. Show S sub 1 is, is true. All right, why did we start from 1? Because uh, the first positive integer is 1, so that's the basis or the foundation. All right, so what is S sub 1? S sub 1 is what you get when I plug in 1 into the left side. So uh, if I plug in 1 here, 1 times 1 is going to be 1 to the third plus 2 times 1. Can I write this as a multiple of 3? That's the question. So this equals uh, 1 plus 2, which equals 3. Can I write 3 as an integer multiple of 3? Absolutely. I can write this as 3 times 1. Okay, in this case, um, m is equal to 1. So this implies that uh, the base case is true. All right. Okay, 
number part two is we're going to make a, an assumption in inductive hypothesis part. Inductive um, hypothesis. All right, so what do we do in the inductive hypothesis? All we just do is we just restate the statement by uh, replacing the uh, variable with uh, the with k, for instance. Okay, so um, here we're gonna assume assume s of k is true. All right, so we're picking an arbitrary k in the set of all positive integers, and we're assuming that the statement is true for that. So what would that look like? We're gonna assume that the statement s of k, which is that uh, k to the third plus 2 uh, k is equal to uh, 3m uh, for some uh, m in the set of uh, natural numbers. Okay? All right, so how did I come up with this? Well, you just simply plug in k for your n's, right? Uh, that's how you come up with your inductive hypothesis. Now, the main domain part is the actual proof, which is inductive step. All right, we picked an arbitrary n. Assume that it's true for that. Now, can we show that this implies that for the next step is also true? If we can show that, the case also holds for it. The next step, then we're done, okay? So here we want to show, show that... Um, if the statement is true for k, s of k is true, that implies that the statement is true for the next step, which is k plus 1, s sub k is also true. All right, so this is what we're going to show here. All right, so, um, all right, so what we're going to do is basically replace uh, k with k plus 1 and see if we can write it as a multiple of 3, okay? And that will be, that will show that it's in fact divisible by 3. So the next step, See, this k to the third plus 2k right here, I'm going to replace those with k plus 1. So k, uh, let's use a different color. I'm going to use uh, black. So uh, s of k plus 1, the right side, is basically k plus 1 to the third. Replacing that k with k plus 1 plus 2 times k plus 1. If I can write this as a multiple of 3, then I'm done. Okay, all right, so let's see. Uh, let's do some algebra here. So I'm going to multiply k plus 1 times k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 2k plus 2. Okay, uh, when I distribute the first one, I'll have k squared plus 2k plus 1 that multiplied by k plus 1 plus 2k plus 2. You just follow it out. There's a formula for that. Remember your a plus b squared formula. That's what I use for this. All right, and then uh, this last um, distribution, I'm going to distribute this to that. So I'm going to have, if I distribute a k, I'll have k to the third plus 2k squared plus k. And then when I distribute the 1 uh, to everything here, I'll get exactly the same thing, right? So it's going to be k squared plus 2k plus 1 plus, and then bring this down, plus 2k plus 2. All right, let's, uh, I want to just add the first part, okay? So it's going to be, uh, let's see what we have here, k to the third plus 3k squared plus 3k plus 1 plus 2k plus 2. Okay, all right, so let's um, combine like terms where possible. Uh, let's see what we have here. We have k to the third, uh, let's see, plus 3k squared, plus, we can combine these two. Um, that basically gives me uh, 5k plus 5k. And then we can combine the 1 and the 3 plus 3. All right, so this is a simplified form. Um, that's what this left side here equals. Now, let's see. I need to make use of my inductive hypothesis. k to the third plus 2k. So can I extract k to the third from, plus 2k from this expression right here? 
Absolutely, we can do that, right? So we can have k to the third plus 3k squared. How about I break this up? I extract 2k from this 5, and what am I left with? I'm left with 3k plus 3. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll position these two next to each other so I can apply my inductive hypothesis. So I'll have k to the third plus 2k, and what would I be left with? Plus 3k squared, this term, plus 3k plus 3. Okay, now based on my inductive hypothesis, I, I assume that k to the third can be written as a, a multiple of 3, namely 3m. So using my inductive step, I can substitute that for this. I can have, replace this with uh, 3m, this entire piece right here, using my inductive hypothesis, right? And then plus, notice these three are all multiples of 3. Yeah, let's just write it. 3k squared plus 3k plus 3. Now, they all have 3s in them. What can we do here? We can factor out the 3 from all of them, right? So if I factor out a 3, I'll have m plus 3k squared plus 3. Oh, snap, what am I doing? Sorry about that. Um, I'll have m plus, if I factor out 3 from this, it's plus k squared plus k plus 1. All right? So we know that uh, m and k are integers, so the linear combination is also going to be an integer. So how about we let m plus k squared plus k plus 1 equals t for some, in some integer t. Okay, we know that t is in a set of natural numbers since all its cons uh, constituents are natural numbers. All right? So this is going to be and the positive 2. So this is going to be 3 times t. Okay, so what do we have here? We have that uh, k plus 1 to the third k plus 1 to the third plus, let's scroll up and see, 2 times k plus 1. Uh, make sure, good. Can be written as a, a multiple, integer multiple of 3. So what does this mean? This implies that uh, this is also divisible k plus 1 to the third plus 2 times k plus 1 is also divisible by 3. Okay? That's exactly what we wanted. Well, well, what we wanted to show. All right. So just to give you a little background, this is our assumption right here. So if we make this assumption, this assumption just basically shows that k to the third plus two k is divisible by three. And then this equation says the next step, k plus one to the third plus two times k plus one is also divisible by three. All right. So since uh, um, s sub k I mean, since S sub K is true, is true, implies that S sub K plus 1 is also true, okay, then the, the original statement, original statement is true. It's true, all right? That's, this is how the principle of mathematical induction works, because uh, we have a domino effect, we have the foundation set, and then we've been able to show that any integer you pick, if that one is true, the, the constant next step is also going to be true, so that domino effect carries on for all positive integers, all right? So that basically shows, by induction, that the, the statement is true. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. You can feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking here, and please post a comment to let me know what you think about this clip. More clips can be found at Thanks again and have a wonderful day.